because I did way back. Come on, let's go. Amen. I'm trying to think, think, think. Come on, sister. Amen. Because I come to praise the Lord. Amen. I don't let nothing sidetrack me. Amen. 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 I ain't my song. I woke up this morning with my mind.
happy Father's Day to each and every one of the guys uh, that's here.
found myself in a conversation with the Holy Ghost this morning. As I lay there contemplating why am I not able to breathe? My lungs are good. What's the problem? And you know, God has a way. I shall say the Holy Spirit says he's ruling in the earth now. Right. Has a way of revealing to come on, you come on. what's wrong with you. Yes, sir. What do you mean, preacher? I'm glad that you had it. <laughs> so while I was laying there praying, talking to God, saying, man, this don't make no sense. I've been through all kinds of stuff and done made it. I, 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 I didn't do it. I know some of y'all can say that. Come on. Because even though I'm having it hard to breathe, there are other things y'all are having. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I've been through all of this, and now here it is, I can't breathe. What's going on here? Take five, six steps, and can't breathe. Knocking out 200 uh, hits of my breathing medicine. I mean, you don't knock out one of these in a day. What's going on here? Well, let me check out my activities. Well, I did check them out. And none fell in that realm of what's the problem. I drank some water. Breathing is hard. What's wrong with the blood? Oh my God, what's with them? So as I lay there talking to the Holy Spirit, amen, he began to reveal, reveal some stuff to me. Number one, what is taking place is something that I have nothing to do with. So I said, okay. And so he said to me, remember, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yes, sir. We blame the air quality for our breathing. We've always had bad air quality. Yes, this is nothing new. Wait a minute, Pastor, this is No, they've always put chemicals and, and all of that stuff in those clouds. We, we have not just began to see them spraying across the sky. This is nothing new. Nothing new. So it's not that, but it's that. Okay, so, so, so then I. As I'm talking to the Spirit, the Spirit began to share with me some things I need to do. And so I said, okay, but don't you forget, greater is He. See, and I think that's what happens to us a lot of times, my brothers and sisters, that we forget who lives in us. We murmur, complain about the smallest thing. Acting like if someone else don't do it, uh, amen, it won't get done. But guess what? Greater is he that is in me. Because when I tap in or you tap in to that source power, there's nothing you can't do. Amen. I would have a witness that. Unless I hold it on, let me go ahead and go on through here. Because some people have places to go. Uh, children are cooking them dinners. And you know, different things, so we're not going to hold you on this day of holiday. <laughs> I just got to see here listening. <laughs> so, I just got to make sure we're in the house together. Ever you miss it, we'll say, down, 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 down. Amen. But anyway, they, they, they said we pray that we're here. Now, now we have fun over here. Amen. But we're serious too. Amen. So, uh, as I look within, I look and I see how far the Lord has brought me through many dangers and times. He has brought me. And some, sometimes he had to 
carry me. I know somebody can say yes, amen to that. Because I know sometimes you felt that you couldn't go on. And then all of a sudden you called on the name. And it seemed like everything. Come on. Brother Luke. Brother Luke. Brother Luke explained this to us. That there's no other name. No other name. Under the sky. Hmm. Given among men. Whereby we must be rescued. Yes. Amen? Amen? So, I want to say this. All that we have of real importance in this life. All we have can be cut up, summed up. In one word, Jesus. Because we have nothing else. Because this world belongs to Satan. Did not did not Jesus said that he's the prince of this world? The devil is the prince of this world. We are fighting against weapons that are not common. Come on. They spiritual. That's right. right. So unless I'm in the will of God, I can't fight nothing. Okay. Can't do it. Yeah, yeah. We we think because we go to work every day. Somebody said that, you know, because you go to work every day and you have a job, don't mean you struggle. Come on. Don't mean you're not struggling. Get it right. Yeah. Don't mean you're not struggling. Yeah. But my reply was, I am. Yeah. Right. Because I can do all things through right. Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Yeah. My brothers and sisters today, I feel that we talk a good game. But we walk blind. We, we, don't, we don't do what this tells us to do. Especially the most important word is Jesus, that everything I need is supplied to him. Matter of fact, his dad, he said, these are his dad. He said that if you ask my father, anything. Wake up an hour later trying to finish off when he went to sleep. <laughs> if they tell you, no, your bedroom, I've been trying to kick a TV out of mine forever. Your bedroom is for sleep. Amen. So if you go in there and pray before you lay down, you will finish your prayer. Amen. But we've gotten so lazy. And we justify it by saying, you know, uh, Judas, she laid on the ground, and you know, uh, some folk didn't stay in, and some I can lay down too. Now, you're supposed to bend your knees. Yes, yes, yes. yes. come on. Now. Grandmama needs to make sure we bend our knees. Amen. God, like, I'm in it by myself. <laughs> grand, 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 grand. They made sure, boy, you get down on your knees and pray. Amen. I remember when I was a five year old. Everybody around the table had to pray. You have to force people to pray today. Jesus. And don't know, this is what got me. I'm, 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 I'm here. 
Amen. That's a good walk in, Lord. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what gets me is, is I saw something. And they advertised that this dog food, it, it has real chicken and real beef. But you told me I got to eat half beef. I got to eat fake food to cut down the carbon footprint, the emission in the atmosphere, because it's a mess with the ozone, but the dog is better than me. <laughs> That's showing you what the devil thinks of you. Come on, come on, say that. You think he's trying to turn you from a man to a woman for no reason? He don't want to look at God. So, Mm -hmm. 
Because every time he came out, my mouth, he was going to hell. And a guy was in Ridgecrest, North Carolina. He said, Red, there's a gray area. I saw I don't see it. He said, it's there. And he said it was grace. But how many know that if you walk away from God with your saved, sanctified sin, the Bible said he'll walk away from you. Come on. He'll walk away from you. And if he walk away from you, then you're in the world of trouble. And the only way he can come back is you go back. Prodigal son. Come on. Jesus is our bread of life. Yeah. And you know what? Isn't it good to know that these lights are not what we count? Huh? These lights, we don't count on these lights. We count on Jesus because he's the light of the world. Right? Oh, Lord, it's all about God. God made the world this morning. You know, I, I want to decrease so he can increase. He can already increase. Now you come to increase too. That's it. Give it your best. Give it your all. Every time I stand up, I give it my best. I give it my all. I leave it all. Right here. Come on. And I'm asking the Lord to fill me again. He says in John 8 and 12, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. But shall have the light of life. Why are so many believers out at night and they not witnessing? Oh, I'm sorry. They at the concerts. They at the clubs. They at the parties. They doing everything outside of worship and praising God. And then they want to walk in the church. Morning, Pastor. I just saw you on. Instagram. About an hour ago. And you're going to tell me anyway. <laughs> but we come and we don't realize that Jesus is our light and that this light is like a lamp to my feet and a light to my head. So why do we go back to darkness other than going to say, have you accepted Christ? Come on. Listen, man, you remember we used to do this, 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 and that? Man, look at me now. Well, that's you. Man, listen, dude. God loves you. Yeah, he ain't acting like it. No, you don't want to act like it. Just like someone's got some old crazy children out. How you gonna get mad at me and I'm the one to do shit? How you gonna talk crazy to me and I'm the one you can't not do? Listen, my mama said I brought you here. Oh, y'all know the old story. Not only is he out of life. I can't tell y'all this story. It ain't gonna be loud. I got a few more minutes. It won't be long. When I was about 18, me and a friend of mine, we were having a smoke party. And if anybody knows about it, smoke it while we eat. Your mouth will be dry. You need something to drink. Mouth eat. And so I said, let's go get something to drink. At that time, I like TJ Swan, Easy Nights, at night. After hours. And my favorite is Boom from Country Quench. And so we decided we're going to get this drink. And I get to the front door. That's why I pay attention to the elderly when they tell me something. 
I got to the door and I turned around. I thought I forgot something. Shane just started having humor lights. I ain't gonna play. I've been forgetting Daryl's name all my life. Come on, man, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes. So, I went to the door, I went back. I went to the door and I went back. When I got to the door the third time, I got ready to go out. Mom said, my mama said, Junior, I said, yes. And boy, I can do it. I said, why? She said, because you've been to the door twice, I wish the third time, and, 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 and you shouldn't go out now because something's out there. I saw my mama go get old crazy stuff. Short stories? Uh, somebody started laughing. A short story is <laughs> this. I went out that door. And time I got out that door in my Jesus. Mind, a friend walked up on me and he had a pistol in his hand. And y'all know this a friend. He's watching me now. He's still my friend. And uh, he had a pistol in his hand. And he said, Clear on the shoot you. For what? You been shooting with my girlfriend. But then, he wasn't playing. And another friend was with me, so he jumped in front of me so that he could shoot me, but he was trying. And I just told you that Jesus is the door, right? Come on. So while me and my friends trying to keep me from getting shot, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and we slide down that wall, and one of them people go one by. We fell with them people how? I might as well stay out there, because it's all turned kind of guns on me. Yeah, you can't do for the 
church because you got your bill. Mm. But it isn't the Lord that gave you the money. And you know what? If somebody gave me a million dollars and tell me all I gotta do is give a hundred thousand back, what you think I'm gonna do? Mm. But in here, the Lord gave me a there's always problems. Yeah. But this shepherd says he gives his life for the sheep. Come on. Yeah. I, I really can take off and just run down the runway, but I got a little bit more say. John 10 14 says, I am the good shepherd, yeah, yeah. and I know my sheep, yeah. and I'm known by mine. Yes. He knows he is who you know. Yes, sir. That's the person. He says he knows his sheep. Yes, and you know, I've seen she heard. And whichever way that man went, then the sheep went right behind him. Yeah. And when he called out, Mary! Yeah. You ain't seen no man. Now I know there's man out all the folks. All of a sudden, the sheep creeping through the whole crop. And then when she comes through, the rest of them follows her, and she follows y'all in the yeah. So who follows you? I am the good shepherd. Not only that, he is our way, our truth, and our life. Jesus said in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come up. Unto the Father, but by me. People are trying to find all kind of ways. The new thing now is this all here. You got to do what you say. One of my friends uh, replied to a post, and I came back and said, You got to be careful with the words you speak. Because they said that. If I don't do it, they ain't gonna get done. And I gotta do it myself. And I thought about the scripture in John 15. He said, apart from me, you can't do nothing. Let me tell you something. You may not believe this. You can't even do wrong if the Lord don't lie. You better understand. That's it right there. Since you're so much control of yourself. Come on. And then when you run out there and do wrong, who the first person to show up in your head? The Holy Lord. If you are saved and filled, you will have a, what they call that thing, conviction. Because you realize that Jesus has done for you what mother and father could do. He died for you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. So that you may have the right to eternal life. Yeah. Not only is our way, our shepherd, our door, our bread, our life, he is our resurrection. Come on now. He's our resurrection. Can anyone enjoy that? Amen. Amen. He's the one that can bring us back to life. And I was just reading last night, the writer says, excuse me, uh, don't worry or be fearful of man and what he can do. Because truth be told, all he can do is kill the body. Come on. But God is able to kill the body so then it's there. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But he's also able to bring it back to life. Come on. Yes, yes. I've seen people die. And I've listened to some folk in that. Drugs 
that woke up and fried her brain. But you still want them to do it again. And finally, it's a pastor. Jesus. Can you talk to the folk? The woman is gone. She been gone. I said, I know I was in there she left. But we won't. But Jesus is the only one can resurrect us. When we leave this life, Jesus is the only one can resurrect us. He's the only one that can bring us back to life. He is our resurrection. John 11, 25, 26 says, Jesus said unto her, when he did it with it, he said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, he, <laughs> he that believeth in me, though he were dead, shall not he live? Though he was dead, and that, that's in the spiritual sense, but let's look at that's in the natural, but let's look at it in the spiritual. A lot of us were spiritually dead until we met our son. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, Yet shall he live. Yes. And whosoever liveth, y'all ready for this one? Yes, he says, and whosoever liveth yes. and believeth in me yes. shall never die. Yes, right. Believeth thou this. Yes. So months back, during the monthly testing of the sirens, and for him, the silence went off. And I was outside working on my old truck, talking to a friend of mine. And all of a sudden, those alarms went off. And these were the words he said. He didn't say, This is a test of your national broadcasting system. He said these words, this is not a test. This is real. And you need to find shelter immediately. I stood there and I looked up in the sky and I turned to the east because they said the Son of Man shall appear in the east. I turned around and I looked. My friend on the phone, he said, man, I just heard that same thing over here. I said, well, brother, I'm going to talk to you later. I began to close up everything that I was doing. And I slow walked into the house. Uh, Sister Davis, Taisha, DeMarcus was sitting there. And I said, did anybody hear that? Mark said, I did. We sit down and began to talk. Talk about the goodness of the Lord. Talk about not fearing what the enemy can do. And I said, you know, now I know for sure that I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Lord, that when that day comes, don't let me be like the coward. Don't let me be like the unbeliever that John talked about. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Revelation 21 and 8. Oh, uh, John said, the coward uh, and the unbeliever, all murderers, uh, adulterers, and Sorcerers and idols and all liars shall have their place in the lake that burns with fire. And all my life, I've said, God, I don't want to be a coward. I want to stand on a firm and solid foundation. That when that day comes and the people are running scared, 
I want to stand out and say, be seated and see the salvation of the Lord. If you ain't called on him yet, you better call on him now before the bombs hit. Because when the bombs hit and you haven't called on Jesus, you can rest the ship. Hell will be your resting place. If you ain't got it right, you need to get it right now. That's what I was talking about. See, God is all I need. Because when times of trouble come up, I won't remember that God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I keep on telling people, all you need is Jesus. I need Mary's boy, the one that died on Calvary for me and for you. I need that Jesus because he said he's a resurrection and life. He got up on the third day and if he got up he can get me and you up too. Is there anybody up in here that know my Jesus? If you know Jesus I doubt you a hallelujah. Oh, Lord. I just want to 
touch my brother and sister's more. Let them not be lost in that hour of war. That you call, is that anybody? Is that anybody? Amen. Amen. Come forward. The doors of the church are open. Praise God. Come forward, Lord. Come forward.